Okay, so I've got all my carrots and turnips tornade. I've got some of the leftover cooking liquid from the onions and the carrots. I didn't save the turnip water. This has a little bit of a different taste. I'm gonna put some of that hot water on top. And then this is something I'm also gonna to use to top up the broth whenever I need to as well. Just need to be a little bit careful because it does have a bit of a high salt content. So make sure that you're tasting that broth. And I'm gonna put this down in our warming oven. I'm gonna check the beef. Powering knife. When you go in, go with the grain of the beef, not against it. Put it in and it slides right off. So nice and tender. Get my beef out of there. And you could wrap it in foil. I'm choosing just to put it in a metal container and pop that in my warming oven. And now I can go ahead and cook my potatoes. I like to do each thing individually just so that that way you don't risk anything getting overcooked. So after my potatoes are done, we'll go ahead and get the spinach. The spinach, the cabbage in there. And then same thing for the potatoes. We're gonna cook them on a real low heat. And just to check for doneness, you're gonna stick your paring knife in and it should grip for a second and then slide off. Obviously these are completely raw, so they're not gonna do anything at all. <laughs> 